You know that feeling when you wake up in the middle of the night during what was about to be a wet dream with the uncanny feeling that you forgot something? But you can't remember what it was, and your dream boner is quickly deflating. So you head downstairs for some water. And you're trying to remember the details of that dream, but it's difficult, and all you can come up with is Kate Upton's body with your second grade teacher's head, which really turns you off. You don't know why you opened the pantry, but all of a sudden, Everything in here looks really good. Uh, and before you know it, you've eaten a day and a half's worth of food, which is not sitting well with you. And as you sit there, contemplating why they haven't come up with a cure for being full yet, you still can't remember what that thing... Oh, shit. Thanks for picking me up from the airport. I knew it was something like that. Oh, was that tonight? What the fuck is this? Well, I was having this dream. A sexy dream? How did you know? You always tell me about your sexy dreams, Jack. I don't want to hear about your three-way with Anne Hathaway and Michael Jackson's left hand. That was a good one. You would be amazed at what can be accomplished with a single thumb. I knew I should have expected this when I was sitting outside the airport for 45 minutes with my thumb up my ass. Poor choice of words. The airport closed while I was there. I saw the TSA drive home, and I was envious of the TSA. I always just kind of assumed that the TSA lived at the airport. I mean, you never really see them out on the town. You really aren't going to apologize to me, are you? Okay, listen. You've had a long trip. How about if you and I take a load off, I'll get you some ice cream. Is that my special ice cream? Shit. And the pieces were so pretty. I mean, the sim was like white powdered sugar was so beautiful. But the bugs, I mean every night was like a chameleon's wet dream. I barely slept a wink. Calvin has the special kind of ice cream that we always have in the house. I don't see what's so good about it, but if we run out, he goes berserk. The hotel had these like elephants that would just roam the grounds free and unattended, which I'm sure is some sort of animal rights violation, but anyway, some people wanted to ride the elephants, but I remember this video I saw of a guy who tries to hop on an elephant and it kicks him like a horse and you can just see his ribcage collapse right there. It takes him forever to get through a pint. He only eats like one or two teaspoons a night. Then we wanted to go spearfishing and I partook, but you know I have this thing about not hurting animals. But the guy told me that actually the reef is overpopulated and dozens of fish die from starvation each year, so it's actually good that we hunt them. He calls it some kind of church mouse diet, but... I just think he suffers from too much willpower. Are you even listening to me? What? You are unbelievable, do you know that? You tell me about every passing little thought that comes through your mind, but when I try to talk to you about my two-week vacation, you're just off in your own other world. What do you think is in a black forest pie? Fuck you. Hey, do we have a designated plumber? Why? I can't get the upstairs toilet to flush. I dropped like a monster deuce in it three days ago, and it's just been percolating in its own sauce. Jesus! Wait till we catch a whiff. It got so bad that I had to duct tape the door frame shut. Why didn't you just use a plunger? A what? How can you not know what a plunger is? You take like the gnarliest shits I've ever witnessed. It doesn't usually get this bad. Sometimes around the third or fourth flush, I'll just start spitting around the edge of the toilet bowl to get things lubricated. Is that why my cousin got hepatitis when she stayed with us? <laughs> no, that... that was something else. Look, I really just want this night to be over, so let's just go so I can get some sleep. He wants to re-alphabetize our pantry. It's killing him. Sure, I'll help you unpack. Dear Jack, I'm moving out. Our friendship isn't what it used to be, and I feel like I'm enabling you by staying. Goodbye. P.S. I alphabetized the pantry one last time, but that doesn't mean I'm coming back. Told you.
This isn't the first time he staged a walkout on me. Last year, his New Year's resolution was to move out. Luckily, I know a few of his tells. I like to think he does it so I don't starve, but really he's just giving himself something to look forward to when he comes back. Shit. Calvin! Cal, wait, where are you going? I'm going out to look for apartments. Come on, Cal, we live here. No, Jack. You live here. You're the king of this kingdom. You can frolic around eating whatever you want, shitting wherever you want, and crashing whenever the fuck you want. These are fair points. I work here. All right, I buy the groceries, I cook, I clean, I plunge your fucking toilets. And worst of all, I put up with you. You're the most selfish, arrogant child I've ever had to live with. Calvin, I know you do a lot around here, and I'm thankful for that. Are you? And I should tell you that more, apparently. But... Trust me, you don't want to move out. Really? No, tell me more about how I feel. I'm the most fun part of your life. Without me, you would go to work every day, come home, watch The Bachelor by yourself, and be in bed by 9 p.m. I speak from experience. Unbelievable. You think you're the most fun part of my life? I was just in Thailand for two weeks. What were you doing? Eating Girl Scout cookies by the sleeve and clogging toilets? Did you even leave the house? <laughs> You think you're the cool, fun guy that everyone wants to be around, but you're really just reckless and vain. You're a bad roommate and a worse friend. Goodbye, Jack. He'll be back. He always comes back. It's not like I need him to or anything. I'll be fine. I just worry about him sometimes. No, I'm not going after him. What do you want me to say? I already told him I was sorry. Shit. I never... Calvin! Calvin, I... Ugh. Calvin, I'm sorry. Calvin! I... God damn it.